The smallest bird on earth has got an amazing ability, but for this it needs to waste a lot of energy. Likely the hummingbird, the energy management master, knows some tricks for dealing with his problem. Stay tuned to learn more about hummingbirds. I'm Mario and this is M from Animals. Oh, hi little hummingbird. You need a name. I'll call you Johnny. Hopefully you're a male. So let's start. There are around 338 species of hummingbirds and most of them can be found in South America. In North America live 17 species. They can't be found on other continents. Most species measure between 7.5 and 13 cm in length. The smallest hummingbird is the bee hummingbird, which measures 5 cm in length and weighs just 2.5 grams, being also the smallest bird species in the world. The biggest hummingbird species is the giant hummingbird, obviously, which weighs 18 to 24 grams and measures 23 cm. They might have different sizes and weights, but all of them have something in common. The fact that 25 to 30 percent of a hummingbird's weight is in its pectoral muscles. And they need such big and strong muscles for the things they are the best at, flying and hovering. For hovering, hummingbirds have to beat their wings up to 80 times per second. Not only can they hover in air, but, unlike other birds, they can fly in all directions. Forward, backward, up, down. For being able to fly unlike other birds, hummingbirds have to flap their wings unlike other birds. Most birds flap their wings up and down, but hummingbirds move their wings back and forward in a figure 8 movement. When hovering they have a the highest metabolic rate of any vertebrate, which means that they lose a lot of energy. That's why they eat sweet flower nectar, which is rich in glucose, a big source of energy. The nectar is the hummingbird's fuel, but the fuel tanks are very small and the burn rate is so high that the fill up can only last them 20 minutes. Hummingbirds have to consume their weight in nectar every single day. Plants need them because hummingbirds visit lots of flowers every day, transporting pollen so that flowers can reproduce. That's why most flowers are colorful and have a perfect shape for the hummingbird's long, thin beak. The hummingbird uses its hovering ability and inserts the beak into the flower, drinking nectar up to 20 times a second. But they don't suck the nectar, instead they use their special tongue which is divided into four filaments. This technique is very efficient so that the hummingbird will drink the nectar in a few moments and will fly to other flowers. But food isn't the only source of energy which is wasted so fast. For proper functioning, hummingbirds need a lot of oxygen. Hummingbirds can live at higher altitudes, where the oxygen is 40% more scarce than it is at sea level. In some species, hemoglobin has evolved to grab oxygen molecules like a magnet. They can resist when a human would fall into coma due to the lack of enough oxygen. Every species can resist to the amount of oxygen like at the peak of a mountain Everest. We can see that they lose a lot of energy and they have to refuel all the time during the day. But what happens when it is night? The hummingbird can't afford to sleep because it will still use too much energy to survive a night without refueling. They shut down and enter a state beyond sleep. Torpor. Torpor is similar to hibernation, but it lasts only one night. During the torpor, the metabolism slows down by 90%, the heart rate goes from 1000 beats per minute to 70 beats per minute, and the body temperature goes from 40 degrees Celsius to about 8 degrees Celsius, and this happens every single night. Quick fact, hummingbirds can't walk or jump, because their legs are very small and light, which is an advantage during flight. However, they can use their legs for itching. Oh, that's so cute. You wouldn't say that if you knew that hummingbirds are the most aggressive birds. <laughs> what? Those small, cute, fluffy birds? They can't be aggressive. All you have to do is just zoom in a little bit. I knew Johnny is evil. I'm still gonna like you, little boy. Yeah, I still don't know if it's a boy. So let's continue. Hummingbirds are known to be extremely territorial, fighting for flowers. For this, they use their long bills. During fights, they defy gravity and perform high-speed maneuvers. They push themselves to the limit, their heartbeat reaching 1200 beats per minute. But let's talk about something less aggressive, like mating. Some species like the long-tailed hermit will sing for attracting females. Males will form a group and will cheer in the same rhythm, competing for attracting females. When the female chooses a male, he will dance in front of her. Other species like the Costa's hummingbird use their glowing mass to impress the female. After mating, the male leaves the female alone. Wait a minute, John is a female? Well, this is a good opportunity to tell you more about the hummingbird's nest. The hummingbird can build the nest in a lot of different places like on a leaf, using different materials like dirt, grass and spider silk in 5 to 7 days. Here it will usually lay 2 eggs. The 
the mother will feed the babies with tiny insects because they need proteins. When they will grow up, they will use their amazing covering abilities for 3 to 12 years until they die. I just wanted to talk about their lifespan. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give a like and subscribe for more upcoming videos.